Man did not weave the web of life. He is merely a strand in it. Whatever he does to the web, he also does to himself. Now, how do we tie this back? Because a lot of you, a lot of people say, okay, well, this is interesting and this is amazing and I love that and we are one and all of that stuff and I have bills. Blessings and blessings. First experience at a, what you would call a Tesla charging station. So these are gas stations. This is basically a Tesla gas station where there's like hundreds, not hundreds, there's probably about 50 Teslas here, uh, all charging. Uh, and um, it got me thinking about uh, us, us as a community, us as individuals. Uh, recently I had a ceremony in Joshua Tree and while I was in that ceremony, uh, one of the messages that came very clear to me was that uh, my journey is our journey. Very often I would find myself trying to go do all the work and feel all the stuff by myself and then come back and say, ta-da, look what I did, look what I experienced, look how I am amazing. And nothing wrong with that, but what really kept coming through was that my journey is our journey. So during that ceremony, instead of spending all the time by myself in the middle of uh, Joshua Tree, lost, where nobody could find me, I found my way back home, which is where all the fellas were. And it reminded me of this metaphor, uh, and a true, like, this is a fact, there is a system a tree system called an aspen grove and an aspen grove can span for hundreds of miles trees everywhere hundreds of trees thousands of trees but the aspen grove shares one root system let me know if you if this is landing for you right now the as there there are hundreds and thousands, hundreds of trees, right? And yet the aspen grove shares one root system. And so above ground, it appears like there's a bunch of individuals, but below ground, there is a, a, a community supporting each other, holding each other, reminding each other, pushing each other, loving on each other, sending nutrients to the places where the aspects of the trees are sick. If a, if a tree dies in an aspen grove, all the other trees send nutrients over to that spot so that a new tree can be born. This got me to thinking about the reality that he who sets the fire is also burned in the fire, that we are all firmly planted in the same root system. There was a Native, Native American uh, chief Seattle that said, man did not weave the web of life. He is merely a strand in it. Whatever he does to the web, he also does to himself. Man did not weave the web of life. He is merely a strand in it. Whatever he does to the web, he also does to himself. Now, how do we tie this back? Because a lot of you, a lot of people say, okay, well, this is interesting and this is amazing and I love that. And we are one and all of that stuff. And I have bills. And I'm stressed the hell out. And I need to find a job. And X, Y, and Z, right? Like I, I understand the divine dichotomy of the split thinking, where the, the, the dualistic thinking, where it's like either or. And I'm introducing and reminding you that it's a both and. And the more that you remember that we are all firmly planted in the same ground, the, the, the more you will receive from that same community. Ooh, let it land. Hear me, I'm not sitting in a Tesla, right? This is an $80,000 car. I'm not sitting in a Tesla because I was only thinking about me. I'm sitting here in this now moment, in this experience, 
because I understand that thing. There are thousands of people on our planet right now that will say, P stood for me. P went the extra mile. There are people I sit and go back and forth with on Instagram, voice notes. Hey, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm at the edge and I, and I think I want to kill myself. Hey, don't do that. I'm right here. Not, hey, here, give me a thousand dollars and I'll work with you. There are people who reach out to me and say, hey, my mom has cancer right now and I don't know what to do. I talk to them. So I'm not sitting here because I'm only thinking about me. And I'm, I'm, I'm sharing this, guys, because I know that it can be, uh, it can feel counterproductive to focus on everybody else or on other people, right? But we are in Aspen Grove. And when, when we understand that and start to really live that way, what happens is, is when we fall, because you will, everybody falls, everybody falls. The root system community will send energy your way to support you, to hold you, to love you, to push you, to move you forward, to help you harmonize your internal beingness so that your external uh, world starts to match the internal world. Are you hearing me? Please tell me this is landing. He who sets the fire is also burned in it. And so when, when you think that you are um, uh, out here, competition, fuck them, I'm, I'm going to rise to the top and crabs in a barrel kind of thing, you're burned in that fire. Hear me, you are burned in that fire. The new paradigm, the new way, the new um, leveling up, the new abundance, and it's not new because it's always been here, it's always been in nature, is the Aspen Grove. It is the remembering that there is thousands of individual trees but underneath there is one root system Shakespeare said um, my bounty is as boundless as the sea the more I give to thee the more I have for both are infinite